So let's say we are selling again a virtual summit. Hey, join this virtual summit. You're gonna learn how to grow your business. You're gonna make more profit. You're gonna get more leads, right? That's ROI. And almost everybody sells this way. Nothing wrong with that. It has worked for many, many years. The problem when you're selling only this way is this. People don't believe it. It's a future outcome that a, I may or may not get. And you can counter it with, hey, you know what? If you don't like it, I'm gonna give you a money back guarantee. And some, some marketers do that. That's okay, money has been around a long time. I like to sell with COI. And that is the cost of inaction. What does it cost when you don't buy from me? What does it cost when you don't take action? How much would it cost you in terms of time and money and resources? So let me give an example. When we are selling ROI, we are selling the future. Because hey, buy my thing and let's see what happens. Like you will, hopefully you will get that benefit. It's a future. This is present. When you're selling ROI, you're selling the future. When you're selling COI, you're selling what's happening right now. When you're selling ROI, you're selling probable. If this is probable. A COI is undeniable. This may be, this is what you're experiencing right now. This is vitamin, this is painkiller. This is prevention, this is, cure, this is cure. So if I prefer to lead with COI, and then I back it up with ROI.